I heard you doing an interview one time, and the person was trying to like see the sort of empowerment, the the beauty in that, and you were like, no, 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 it's darkness. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons that I'm so I'm utterly fascinated with comic books. And one of the reasons that I'm so intrigued by Batman is he literally uses the darkness, the sickness that he has over what happened to him and his family to propel him forward for decades to, to keep driving. And it's most people are broken by the bad things that happen to them. But every now and then there's a Goggins. There's somebody who understands how to use that power to understand how as a human being, it fucking drives you. Revenge is powerful, like to, be able to tap into that in a way that's controlled, that's right. but to be able to bring it in, to use it, to feel the energy. There is an intoxication to rage, and I don't think people are honest about it when they talk about it. There's a fucking intoxication to that, and if you can tap into it and leverage it, not get lost to it, which is right. why I know you always caveat it by saying, look, I'm a fucking happy guy. Like That's not what we're talking about right now, Right. but I'm a happy guy. Right. So you can't get overtaken by it, but it's there, and it is so fucking powerful. It's real. That's why when I, when you said before this whole thing started, you said I can be me. The second you said I can cuss and be me and cussing, people I said, man, you cuss all the fucking time. Why? <laughs> well, I hate to say it, the best way for me to get how I feel across, I can't sit here and say, you know what? Yeah, I went through Hell Week and man, it was it was really hard. <laughs> no, that motherfucker takes your damn soul, rips it inside out, and then they say. Now we're going to fucking start. It, it, it allows me to express right. where I was at at a point of my life. Mm. If I don't give you all of me, why the hell am I here? Why, how will you learn from me? People take so much offense to me. You will never learn from people if we always tap dance around the truth. Oh God, I love that. We so tap true. dance around the truth by finding the right words so I don't hurt you because you have thin skin. No, tighten up, people. It's okay. Trust me, it's okay. You might be called nigger one day. It's okay. You might be called some Jewish word or some faggot or gay word. It's okay. Let them call you that. What are you going to do now? They don't own your life. How are you going to control that now? How are you going to flip it upside down and say, Roger that, now I'm going to harness this shit and you'll read about me years from now? How? How? That's the question. How are you going to do that? Thicken your skin. Become more of a human being. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror because that's all you can be afraid of. Once you overcome the reflection in the mirror, you've done it. Uh, I love that, man. You once said that if you were growing up in this generation that you would have a field day because you would take their souls. What did you mean by that? The, the younger generation quits not everybody. So I gotta, I gotta put that, people get their butt hurt. So not everybody. Most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. You did this wrong, you did this wrong, or, or they get yelled at. It's so easy to, you know, to, to be great nowadays because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This, this is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. People have a, a hard thing to understand. I hate to run. And, and, and what makes me so crazy, it doesn't need more, is people go, well, well, why do you run if you hate it? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't want to take showers and eat either. I hate that too. The, the whole, that's life, man. That, and and, and, and it, it wasn't until I changed that mentality that I became somebody. I hated going to school, so guess what? I was dumb as shit. That's what, it, one plus one is two. But if you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. That's what people understand. By me running, I am callous in my mind. I'm not training for a race. I'm training for life. I'm training for the time when I get that two o'clock in the morning call that my mom is dead or something happens tragic in life, I don't fall apart. I'm training my mind and my body and my spirit so it's all one, so I can handle what life is gonna throw at me because the life I've lived, it throws a whole bunch at you. And if you're not physically and mentally prepared for that, you're just gonna crumble and you're good for nobody. 
Talk to me about what it takes to be on one side of a door in Iraq or anywhere, knowing on the other side of the door, people who are not afraid of you, they're ready for you to come in and you still have, and they have guns, and you still have to breach that door. That's, that's a great question. It, it, that's a very scary situation when you are on one side of the door and your mind is racing because on the other side of that door, it could be no one. It could be four guys with four AK-47s. That, that door you're about to open could be booby-trapped. So once you open it, boom, your legs are gone. So there's a thousand things you think about when you're the first guy, second guy, third guy, getting ready to go in a room and flood it. And that's why I talk about the warrior mentality. Mm. And that's why so many people are lost when I start talking. You have the right. You're lucky that you don't have to think like warriors think. You're very privileged. I chose this world to be a warrior. And I would, and I would choose it again if I came back to this world. But the mentality of a warrior is very different than the normal mentality. You must be that person on that door, get ready to open it, thinking to yourself, if I die, so be it. The only way you can go in that door is knowing there's a great chance you're going to die. It's like being a SEAL, you train with live ammo. You jump out of an airplane. Every, 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 everything you do, you could die. So to be a warrior, why people don't understand me, I'm glad you don't understand me. Merry Christmas. Good on you. Because being a warrior takes a whole different mindset. A whole different mindset to know that there's a great chance I may not be in the military. Like I was in for 21 years. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky that I'm alive, able to talk to you, able to still run. But when you sign up on that dial line to be a, like a SEAL, your mentality changes. I may not live. You got to accept that. And that's the mentality you have. And that's what makes you a warrior. If you're scared to die, you're a bad warrior. And so what do you use to push through? Is that, is that a Goggins moment? Is that uh, finding the darkness? I'm going through hell. I'll become the devil if I have to. Like what, what is that moment? What are you pulling up inside? I'm pulling up a lot of the, the uh, dark side of me. But I'm also looking at the guys to my left and to my right, realizing that um, we're here together, man. And I have, to, uh, I have to be strong for them. And they got to be strong for me. A lot of people, either you like me or you don't, even in the SEAL teams, but when you get to that door or you get on that mission or you get in that op, all that shit's out the door, man. You know, you, you do it honestly. I mean, people say all the time in these movies and shit, you, you really out there fighting for that guy beside you. And you can't be a coward. Because you know what? And this is how I look at everything I do now in life, and this sums it up. I hated jumping out of airplanes. I hated shooting guns. I hated the job as a Navy SEAL. But I did it because I wanted to change myself. Mm. Everything I do, I'm not really comfortable doing. But if you choose to go that route, to go be a Navy SEAL, you might as well go be the hardest motherfucker in the world. Because if you're choosing to do something, you have two routes. You can go there and be a little, a little weak person mm. and get through barely, and that's your reputation. Or you can go through the hardest guy you can possibly be, and that's your reputation. So my whole thing is, if you're going to choose to open that fucking door in Iraq or Afghanistan, open the motherfucker and go in hard. Because they're going to remember you by slowly opening it and peeking in. So if you're going to open it, and you made the mind to open it, don't crack it open. Open the fucking door and go in. That's with life. If you're choosing to do, if you're choosing to do something, attack it. Because they're going to remember you as not attacking it. So I want to be remembered. You can hate me, but there's one thing you can't say about me. I didn't attack it. So that's the mentality you have. If you're going to do something, you might as well attack it. Because you can do it anyway. Right.